Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Christina Giselle and I share videos on motherhood and lifestyle. And today I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys my daughter's Love Every subscription box unboxing and review. She currently got the Realist subscription box and I wanted to share with you guys all the cool things that are inside and give you guys my honest review. And I may even have my daughter sit with me while I open it so that she can give you her honest, quick and instant review as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing what Love Every offers, then continue to watch to the end so that you can see if this type of box is something that you would want to get your kid as well. Okay guys, so like why is it that I get more excited than my daughter? Probably because I see it before her. I haven't even showed her yet because then she would just make me rip it open and I wanted to show you guys exactly what was in it as I opened it. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know, for those of you that don't know what Love Every is, it's a, an educational toy subscription box for babies to toddlers up until 36 months. It is Montessori inspired, so a lot of the toys in these boxes are wooden, educational, they're sustainable, sustainable and made out of recycled materials and they're non-toxic. So that's specifically why I wanted to get it for my daughter because we are trying to go, I'm kind of like a Montessori-ish mom. I'm trying to go down that route and instill the, that method and principles into my daughter's play. And also it's something that I do believe is a great gift. I requested it from my in-laws and they were able to get this for her for Christmas instead of getting her toys that I just felt she wouldn't like or knew she wouldn't even want we would get rid of it so fast. These toys are really good quality and they're something that you can hand down to future siblings. So I do believe that if you're new to this, continue to watch this video to the end and watch my other videos so that you can see what this description box is all about and whether I think it's really worth it or not. All right guys, so I got my daughter here and she's gonna help me unbox her kit. Are you ready to open it, mama? Here we go. What's in here? Oh, wow. So, as you guys can see, it comes like this. You excited? And then you open it up. Oh, and it has this really cool, this actually hangs. I'm not sure what this is yet, but it comes with this. It's a quilted critter pocket. As you can see, she's already into that because she likes pulling out things and it's like matching. This is really nice. So it comes with a little book, a little flashlight, a count and slide ring shoe, this critter pocket, another little geometric puzzle, the lock box, and a picture and glass. Okay, so let me open it up so you guys can see exactly what everything looks like. So let me move to the side because, like I said, she's really into it. So here's the first thing I'm gonna grab. This is, oh, this is actually battery operated and it's a little flashlight. So I think that's really cute. She'll like that, she doesn't have, she never had like a flashlight or anything. That comes with batteries. It's the really real flashlight. And it comes in this little box. And then it has this little pitcher, which is great because I've been wanting to practice pouring with her. So it has a little pitcher and a little cup that she can practice pouring in. Baby, what do you think of this? Look. Little picture. Why don't you turn it around? Oh yeah, Brent is pouring. So she'll get a kick out of that. And then it comes with this adorable lock box. I've been wanting to get one of these too. And that's the cool thing about Love Every. You can order all the stuff on Amazon, but it's not like as good quality. You don't really know where it's made. And I feel like this is gonna last for a really long time. This is really good for fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. So she'll be able to play with the locks and stuff. She already loves it, as you guys can see. Let me move on. And then all the kids always come with this little pamphlet that explains everything that is actually in it. And then it also gives you some like real life scenarios of things you can do outside the play kit, which I love. And then it talks about the development of your, your kid as they're growing at this age. So I love these kits. I always try to read them after. As you can see, she loves the lock and key box and she loves this right here. And then it comes with a book. B gets a checkup about going to the doctor. I love that they come with books because she absolutely, <laughs> sorry about the noise here. She absolutely loves books. So this is gonna be fun for her to read. Look, baby has a book. Okay. Is it a book? Oh, yeah. You, why don't you keep playing with this? Keep playing with that, okay? And then it also comes 
this. This must be the cow and slide ring sheet. So it's like really good quality wood, which I've noticed. And then it comes with the little rings in here for her to play with. You want to try this out? Let's try this out. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna wind up toy rotating this after and just like introducing maybe not all of them at the same time, maybe like one or two of them. And then throughout the month, we'll introduce. So it comes with these little rings. I think she just pushes it through. I'm not sure. Oh, here, you push it through on this side. Look, baby, here. I will have to probably go over how to do that. I just show her and then she'll learn. And then, yeah, book. You want me to read this to you? Okay, I'll read this to you. Okay, we'll read that in a second, okay? And then it also comes with this geo-shaped puzzle. Let me open this up. Do you like all the stuff in here? <gasps> Ooh, another puzzle. I love opening it with her because she just gets so excited on everything that's in it. She's really good with puzzles. And I like how it's like a double puzzle. It's like a shape and a shape. It's two shapes, so that's really cool, geometric. And then that's it guys. So that is everything in the Realist Play Kit. I love all the items that are in it. And looking at it right now, I do think that everything is worth it. It's really good quality and it's a lot of good stuff that I think she's gonna continue to play with. As you can see, she already has so much interest in it already. So I had forgot to do an outro for this video. So it's a few days later. I put on the same top because I just washed it in the laundry. But I decided that I wanted to be more honest with you guys. It's been like four days and I didn't want to wait the month to do another video. And I actually decided that after I do these videos where I'm doing a review, instead of doing another video on is it worth it, I'm probably just going to put it on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me already, it's uh, at Christina Giselle underscore. So, but I wanted to be honest because my daughter has been playing with these toys for about like four to five days now and there are some toys that I'm just not feeling so I wanted to say all right so this lockbox you guys saw earlier in the video I was super excited about it here's the thing when she's playing with it it just it, it starts opening on its own and you know when you're paying $120 for things that are every three months, you want it to be the best quality of things. And as much as I love that it's sustainable, it does feel like good quality. I just feel like it's, it's look, like I want her, it opened on its own by her just shaking it. I wanted her to have something that was challenging for her to do, not something that is like not that good quality for her to not even be able to learn for. So I'm kind of disappointed with this. And because it's so easy, it's all just to shake it, she's lost interest. And then when it comes to these, now, all right, this is cool because it's part of the kit and it's teaching her how to pour. It's actually like rubber here and then plastic. Do I feel like this being in the kit makes it worth all that's in the kit? No, I feel like I could just go and get a little cup. I can go on Amazon, get a little pour like this, which is so funny because I had already ordered her a metal one and it would probably be less than having to get the kit. My honest opinion about this kit, this is my second subscription box from Love Every, is I need to see if we get another another box in three months and I still feel the same way about this. I don't, I, I'm gonna tell you guys, I don't think it's worth it. You can honestly just get these things individually from like Amazon or you can make them yourself and it may be less money. You know, this is a big commitment in a subscription box and I do love that everything's sustainable, but if you're somebody who's on a budget, especially in the pandemic, I don't know. I, I, I'm not I'm not completely, I don't feel completely good telling you guys, yeah, get it, sign up for it. I really don't. I know honestly, her favorite thing out of this whole subscription kit, the realist, is this book. She has read this book at least like 40 times already. She just makes it us read it over and over. So I do love their book. This is the second time they're giving a book. Hey guys, that's like my honest opinion. I wanted to come back a few days later and just be real with you guys because I don't want you guys spending all this money. I personally don't feel like it's like the super best quality. It's sustainable and it's really good quality. Like it does look like it'll last a long time, but I'm just not that impressed 
for spending that much money on all the quality. I don't think it, each item in here is worth all that. So that's my honest opinion, guys, and that's my review on the Realist Love Every subscription box. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I'm gonna continue to do these reviews. Like I said, this kit is actually a Christmas present. So, you know, I'm gonna keep getting it for a few more months. And then at some point, if I really, really, really feel like it's not worth it at all, then of course I'll ask my in-laws to cancel the subscription. But since I'm not paying for it, I'm gonna continue to get it. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys are doing well and you're staying safe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.